Who investigates is looking into a family tragedy, a little girl dead after going to the dentist in Austin. She was just 14 months old. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold, live for us now in Texas City, where relatives of that child live. Robert? This all started with something a lot of us deal with in our lives cavities. This girl's aunt says her niece was taken to a dentist for treatment, and five hours later, she was dead. I've got three of my own, and I, I can't even try to put myself in her shoes right now. Denise Carrizales says she last saw her niece, 14 month old Daisy Lynn Torres, on Easter. Happy, healthy. She loved, she was dancing and laughing and smiling. Tuesday, Carrizales got a call from her sister saying something went horribly wrong when the little girl was taken to this Austin dental practice. They were going to check some cavities that they said that they found, and mom sent her back there. And next thing you know, they told her she wasn't breathing and she didn't. They rushed her to the emergency room and she didn't make it home. The Travis County Medical Examiner's Office has not yet determined the exact cause of Daisy Lynn's death. The State Board of Dental Examiners has also opened an investigation into what happened. Last month, a Channel 2 investigation reviewed records of dental patient deaths. Problems after sedation and anesthesia are a common theme. It's hard to predict how an individual is going to respond to anesthesia. Dentists are required to report patient deaths after treatment, but the Texas Dental Board does not track those deaths. If you would like to read our full investigation into dental deaths and how the Dental Board is protecting patients, we've posted on the front page of our website. Click to Houston.com. Reporting live from Texas City, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.